What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video we're going to be taking a second look at the Share Ami as a part of my Does It Suck series. This weapon, like many others, got a significant boost as a part of the community patch. We can see right away that this is a Malawan sniper rifle, and it has a Moxie skin, so it is going to have healing to it. In the unpatched version of the game, I believe it heals for 2% of all damage, and then creates transfusion trails that heal for approximately 15% of damage done upon critical hits. Being a Malawan weapon, it is always going to come in an element. I have it here in Corrosive. We also have the base damage accessory and a Malawan grip. You can see the Malawan grip because it does not have a trigger guard. However, unfortunate for this weapon is in the unpatched version of the game, it has a Hyperion barrel, which definitely affects its stats in a negative way. If we compare this Hyperion barrel Cher Ami, which is a French name that I'm not very good at pronouncing, apparently it means dear friend, I'll start calling it Dear Friend so you don't have to hear my horrible French every time. Comparing the Dear Friend to a Blue Rarity Malawan Snyder, we can see that the damage is significantly lower. If we compare it to a higher rarity weapon, the damage is even more different. And so when you're using this weapon, you're definitely choosing to sacrifice damage for its healing capabilities. If we take a look at how quickly this weapon kills an enemy and heals us, here in the unpatched version of the game, it will give us something to compare it to when we go to the patched version. So, first and foremost, I'm just going to shoot this guy and take his arms off and then try to take an eye blast from him. So, you can see that it did take off one of his arms in one hit there. We had the ambush bonus. And so now I'll just deal a little bit more damage to him and I'll wait to take an eye blast or two here. Cool. So, now my shield's going down. I'll take another eye blast and we'll see how quickly we can recover health. So you can see there that it doesn't heal me super quickly. Um, it does heal me, but if there were more enemies, it might be a little bit, you know, dangerous to use this weapon as your only healing option. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the community patch here, but you can see that it took about 12 shots to kill that guy. So let's quit out and then apply that patch. Cool, so the patch should be applied now. And one of the first things we'll see is that they got rid of that crappy Hyperion barrel, which is awesome because right away the Malahuan barrel looks a lot cooler as well. So you can see that it definitely has a lot higher base damage now. Again, comparing it to a Blue Snyder, we can see that it is actually a little bit better damage-wise than a Blue Snyder. And also it has splash damage, which in the unpatched version of the game it does not have, which is another thing that made it even worse compared to other Malahuan snipers. So now it's actually better than a blue sniper as far as damage goes, and so that's awesome. Obviously, compared to a rarer sniper, the gemstone version in this case, you are still giving up a significant amount of base damage in order to have the healing. But it's much less extreme than it was before. And now that we have splash damage, hopefully the weapon can also be an effective slagger. I have it here in Banbury, and because it has splash damage, it can actually slag multiple enemies at once, which is really nice, and it's what makes Malawan uh, Sniders or other snipers better at slagging than other sniper rifles. So that splash damage is really helpful at making this a slag weapon. And I can definitely see working a slag version into a sniper build instead of a slag pimpernel. And one of the reasons you might do that is so that you could use a singularity grenade instead of relying on transfusion grenades like I normally do. And so in this run, I am going to use a Quasar. I found the slag singularities to be unfortunately bad at slagging. So we'll use a Quasar here, maybe strip some shields with it so that we can then deal damage with our corrosive version. I've also thought about maybe using a bladed version of the weapon here in case we got any enemies in killing blow range. Obviously, blades are popular accessories on other Malawan weapons like the Ruby and the Grog Nozzle. So maybe that would be beneficial. Obviously, we are specced into both Killing Blow and Execute, so we could use it, um, you know, for that kind of stuff if we have an enemy low. I'll also throw on the fire version of the weapon just so that we have an all, you know, dear friend loadout here. So cool. We'll go ahead and start this. Um, again, working off of the first guy kind of as a control to see how much more the healing is and how much more the damage is stocking up on ammo and grenades there now since we have splash damage it should blow up this barrel and it did <laughs> also move that guy quite a bit so i'll take a uh, eye blast here you can already see though that it's dealing significantly more damage 
take one more eye blast and you can see that it heals me a lot quicker as well so definitely a more effective healer and you know <laughs> it kills a little bit quicker as well because of the higher base damage so I'll slag all of these guys now with one shot because we have the slag or splash damage now which is nice also with a singularity grenade we can pull that guy out of his um, you know charge that he was about to do with us and it moved his shield so you can gain benefits of the singularity grenades that usually with sniper zero you're without if you happen to be using a dear friend rifle like that so that's pretty cool all right so we will um, kill a couple of these guys here perfect when, when enemies are slagged it seems to kill pretty quickly obviously like I said it is weaker than other snipers that you could be using from Malawan, but you get a pretty nifty healing effect now. Now, it was changed so that the transfusions deal a little bit less healing, but if you're getting a critical hit with this weapon and it has higher base damage, that, you know, small nerf in the transfusions healing is significantly mitigated because you're dealing more damage. So, 7% of a higher number is going to be closer to 15% of a lower number than it otherwise would have been. So, that's pretty cool there. And also the splash damage again is super nice. We'll get this guy slagged. And then we'll try to kill him. Looks like we can kill that guy in about three shots after he's slagged. With only a modest amount of critical ascension. So that's pretty cool. I don't usually have um, singularity grenades. So, not used to how enemies react to getting pulled across. Um, obviously they do kind of weird dances. It makes some of their critical hits a little bit harder to hit. So I guess that's something you could remember when using, um, singularity grenades when you're not used to using them like I'm not. We'll slag this guy here and see if he dies quickly. He dies in one hit. So that's pretty cool. You can see those transfusion trails flowing around when I hit critical hits. I'd imagine that would be especially nice if you were running multiple characters. Um multiple zeros for example I'll let this guy get close to me and kill him so you can see that oh, I thought I would get all my health back maybe not maybe he blew up on me if you kill them yourself they should give you all your health back at least that's what they do when you're playing melee anywho I think that uh, transfusions would be really nice if you were running two zeros one melee one sniper because the sniper zero would then be able to keep the melee zero alive pretty easily at range or maybe not easily if there are no enemies with critical hit spots that are available, but you could definitely help out. And so that's pretty cool. And also, if you had a Maya who was concentrating on slagging, you could take over some of the nursing um, responsibilities for her while she concentrates on slag and stuff, or damage. So there's ways you could definitely have some good team synergy using this weapon. Now, if I was going to choose what would be the you know most practical use for one of these dear friend rifles, I think it would probably be to work the slag one in as a part of your build out so that you could use um, so that you could use singularity grenades and stuff, other grenades than just the transfusion grenades, which usually with my sniper zero build I am limited to. I would probably still recommend killing with another weapon, but if you had a slag version of this gun, or if you were carrying a corrosive one in, you know, in addition to a other corrosive kill rifle, you might get away with that. Had trouble shooting through that guy's arm there. It's probably just missing shots. The healing is still a little bit too low to actually tank, I would say, a hot loader, for example. So this isn't going to be like the Grog Nozzle where you're going to be able to fight through extreme dots. But I think it is still going to be pretty powerful. Now, obviously, with a um, Quasar and my Kunai helping me out, I was able to get all my health back really quickly. And so that's something you could definitely do is use this weapon in Deception to get all your health back in combination with Kunai and Grenades, which could definitely benefit a Sniper Rifle Zero. Um, I'm going to let this guy get close and then shoot him. Yeah, see how I got all my health back immediately? That's kind of like when you kill Exploders with uh, Melee Zero. So that's pretty cool as well. You can make Exploders not that dangerous to you with this weapon. Cool. And so obviously with a ridiculous amount of Critical Ascension, it's going to kill things pretty easily. We'll move on and kill all of Pervy's friends here, and then we'll go back and see Hurley and stuff as well. Attention. 
Hmm. There he is. Cool, so I was super low on health there. Let's let this guy deal some more damage to me. You can see that I got all that health back really quickly. Ah, I thought I shot that guy, but my um, antagonist decided to block my shot. That's one of the really nice features about the antagonist is that slag ball blocks your shots. I'm going to let this guy deal some more damage to me so we can see how quickly I get my health back. Assuming his crappy, what appears to be a white rarity bandit rifle actually deals enough damage to break my shield. Alright. So you can see it got all my health back pretty quickly. That guy's gun was just too trash. <laughs> it, you know, some enemies, uh, difficulty or the threat they pose is truly dependent on the weaponry they spawn with. If somebody spawns with a crappy white rarity bandit rifle like that, it's probably not going to be able to hurt you. But if he spawns with, say, a shock Malawan SMG, you might be in some trouble. So, yeah, kind of up to the luck of the draw there. Alright, so you can see that even on a super badass loader without slag, when you have a bunch of critical ascension, it's going to rip them apart. Hurley has quite a bit of health. We'll see how it does against Hurley. I think the higher base damage and the higher healing effect on this weapon are super nice. Um, it makes it much, much more effective at actually using it as kind of like a... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you would call it, a, you know, glass cannon rifle. You can be really up close to enemies, and so long as you're dealing damage, you can get your health back super quick. Huh. So we were able to, you know, health gate all through Hurley's nonsense there, and he does quite a bit of damage now. So you can see that the healing effect on this weapon is pretty significant now. Before, I definitely don't think you would have been able to do that, even with a decent amount of critical ascension. Awesome. So this weapon is definitely not lacking in stopping power now. Um, it's a little bit weaker than, you know, what a true perfect Snyder would be. But, obviously you get the healing special effect. So, definitely a pretty cool weapon now. Could you use it in your Sniper Zero build and use it instead of transfusion grenades? Definitely. It's absolutely viable. Would I personally? I don't know. I, I kind of like the you know, transfusion grenades better, and it allows me to use rifles that I think are a little bit more potent than this, kind of like the Pimpernel or even a regular Snyder, but also definitely the Lyuta and other fully automatic snipers that go real fast as well. I guess these are technically fully automatic. You can just hold the trigger down and it keeps shooting, but super high fire rate snipers is what I'm talking about, like the Vladoff ones, so big difference in fire rate, obviously. Anywho, this weapon is pretty good. Is it good enough to justify using? Absolutely, if you enjoy using this instead of the transfusion grenades. I think I would just like the transfusion grenades a little bit better. The Pimpernel is a more effective slagging weapon. It's quicker. It happens faster. To me, that's why I'm going to use this instead of the, you know, slag dear friend or sheer, sheer me, I believe is how you pronounce it. I know I said I wasn't good at pronouncing it. Regardless, it's good. It's definitely good. It definitely does not suck. But I'm personally not going to be using it, probably. Maybe there are situations where I'll use it. I'm not sure. But it just doesn't win me over, uh, the, over you know, this. <laughs> so I'm still going to use this and rely on transfusion grenades instead of trying to build damage and um, healing into one rifle there. But it definitely gives you more versatile options, you know. Um, instead of a singularity grenade, you could use other things like a fastball, for example, and get a bunch of damage out of a fastball and, and while you're in deception, and you'll get all your health back from that pretty quickly as well. Theoretically, you could also use something like a magic missile to get a bunch of slag out there or one of the bouncing Bonnie variants and, you know, slag a whole room. So there are definitely ways that you could use the, you know, dear friend, but for me, I'm going to stick to the transfusion grenades over using this, but... In a team scenario, it might be really nice. I would say this weapon is definitely viable now. It definitely has its uses, so this is another instance of the community patch doing an excellent job to turn a weapon that was trash into a weapon that is worth using and very cool now. Obviously, if all they did was just change the barrel to a Malawan barrel, that would help, and obviously it looks a lot cooler as well, and they made some other changes too. So 
it's a really cool change. Definitely very cool to have all of the unique weapons actually being beneficial instead of being a waste of space like this weapon was before. As always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I also appreciate how much better this gun looks with the Malawan barrel than it did with the silly Hyperion barrel. As always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. Otherwise, I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.